Gordon Fox, his lawyers and prosecutors were not the only ones who got to address the judge prior to today's sentencing. Dozens of people made their opinions known by writing letters to court. From Fox's relatives and colleagues to average Rhode Island taxpayers tired of all the corruption. Iowa Just News reporter Madeline Wright continues our in-depth coverage now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. It was up to the judge to decide how long Gordon Fox would spend in prison, but many others, including Fox's family and friends, tried to influence her decision. Disappointment tonight for friends and family of Gordon Fox, who asked the judge to give him a lighter sentence. In the days and weeks before the sentencing, they wrote many letters asking for leniency, some appealing to his character. Gordon Fox's sister, Beverly Bates, wrote, He is a good person and we love him dearly. It would be devastating to all of us as a family if Gordon were to be sent away for a long period of time. Former co-workers and acquaintances also chimed in, saying the disgraced former House Speaker has already paid the price for his mistakes. Paul McDonald wrote, He has lost his law license, lost his job, lost his dignity, and has lost his ability to ever run again for public office. Some believe Fox is innocent and that he shouldn't go to prison at all. Others asked for the harshest sentence possible. Today, the judge mentioned there was a strong theme of betrayal in some of the letters. John Barretos wrote, Gordon Fox held the most powerful position in Rhode Island, Speaker of the House, and betrayed the public trust in an egregious manner. James MacArthur from Narragansett added, his total disregard for how his actions and greed affected the entire state resulted in negative press and added to the already poor image Rhode Island has throughout the country. In the end, the 100 letters sent to the judge didn't appear to have a significant impact on her decision. When she listed the top three reasons why she sentenced him to three years, the letters were not among them. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.